Hey, what's going on? It's Boss Brit the Most Lit. What's up? It's your girl DJ Excel. And this is... The No Homo Show. Where everything we talk about is homo as f***. Gay, 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 gayer than the day before. The gayest of the gay. Yes, sir. And we triple gay because we got another gay in the building today. What's up, y'all? It's your girl Iman Chris. You can follow me on YouTube. I'm a gay YouTuber. Iman, why you keep going back and forth from your chair? You gonna make you our doors dizzy. I'm sorry, no, this is fun. Like, get ass. <laughs> she childish. Watch, nigga, it's a ride. I'm a little childish. Just nah, you good. No, well, you won't be realizing it until show. you, like, watch the video. You be like, damn, why? Right, I was why she really time. swinging, like? <laughs> nah, welcome, welcome, for sure. Good. Yeah, welcome to the No Homo Show. We about to get all up in your homo business today. It's okay, I'm ready Let's for start it. with a cheer. Salutes. And she is from Cincinnati, Ohio, the blessed place in the motherfucking world. And y'all love us for the nasty natty. Oh, God. So the vibe be hitting different. Too. Excel can't get away from us. I don't know Ooh. why. Ooh, why surrounded. you say that? I'm just surrounded by y'all. And y'all are really toxic people. But y'all <laughs> y'all pretty cool. It is what I it feel, is. I feel attacked. She's talking about y'all toxic. It's Every, a good toxic. Yeah. I feel right? like it's, it's, great. <laughs> right? it's, it's really good She's been here for this. seven years, so clearly it's doing something good for her, so, okay? Mm. But yeah, welcome <laughs> to the No Homo Show. I don't know if you've seen it before, but the way that we love to start is with your coming out story. You can keep it brief. I don't know if you have multiple coming outs, whichever one you want to share. <laughs> It's your time to shine. All right, y'all. So my coming out story, it, was, it wasn't it was really that bad for me. Like, my mom is a lesbian. All my sisters mess with girls. I'm the only one that's, like, a lesbian, though. So for me, uh -oh. but I kind of come from a family. Like, my mom is Creole. My dad is Puerto Rican. So, like, my dad's side of the family, they cut me off from the age of 12 all the way to me turning 23. Like, they didn't mm. want to mess with me or nothing at all. Like, they was like, oh, she's gay. I'm not dealing with that. Call my mom, trying to go off, whatever. But, I mean, it was pretty easy for me other than, like, I just never really cared. Like, I kind of had that moment of, like, you know, my personal family, all of them knew, so it was comfortable. But, like, I say... My grandma, my grandpa, they was probably like the hardest. You know how that goes. Yeah. Like my grandpa, that was my best friend. So that was really hard. He, I don't really think he asked me one time. I'm not gonna lie, lie to him. But like I think he just kind of knew. He never really asked me again. Grandparents be knowing. They be the first time. I think he knew. My grandma, she came up to me. She was like, I'm gonna ask you for the second time. Are you gay? I was like, the first time I lied. The second time I was like, yeah, I'm gay. She was like, oh, you know, in college I mess with a girl. Like <laughs> it's just, you know, it's just a moment you're having in your life. Yet every time I've brought nothing but girls home. So you know what I mean. First of all, mom. mom Mom Duke's in the building. Mom Duke's behind the camera. <laughs> gay, 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 gay. Momager, you feel me? So she, she was openly gay when you was a kid. Yeah, when I was three, I don't really remember it beyond that, but I know when I was three, my mom been dating women like literally my whole life. I'm not gonna oh, lie, when okay. I was younger, um, like going into like middle school, it kind of used to make me uncomfortable. Like going into seventh grade, like telling people like who my mom's girlfriend was and stuff like that. I used to always be like, oh, this is my aunt or, cause I didn't really understand stuff. And yeah. I used to be one of those people that used to be kind of like anti, like if my friends like girls, like, oh, get away from me. And it's yeah. crazy cause I'm a lesbian. So that's really wild that I used to be like that. Word, so I think you the first guest we had that your parent was gay too. Yeah, I was that's, raised by two women my whole life. That's, that's crazy. Yeah. Let me tell y'all real quick. So like my high school like sweetheart, right? Mm -hmm. Like I would go back home with her cause we was in a boarding school, right? So like she lived in like Long Island or something. And she always say like, yeah, my mom and my aunt. So why like two years after we was like together, she realized her aunt was her mom's girlfriend this whole time. Oh, she never knew that either? No, she, she thought it was her, she was like, <laughs> but she didn't really think it was her mom's sister, but she thought right. it was like her mom's close friend that she would say her aunt. Oh, okay. But like, you <laughs> literally <laughs> see like, it, it was like a stud in a, in a woman. I'm not gonna lie, see those boarding school stories be hitting different. See, uh, those boarding school stories, like the all girls schools or yeah. the boarding schools, they always start there. Yeah, they but I'm saying it was her mom that she would just say like, yeah, I'm going um, back home with my mom and my aunt. The whole time her mom was a lesbian too. And she didn't even know. No. She wasn't. I knew. That's crazy. I just didn't understand it. Yeah. So it was kind of like, it was confusing for me. Yeah. But coming out, it wasn't too bad. I didn't really care about my dad's side of family anyway. Like, okay, it period. irrelevant really. That's and they probably up. mad because like your mom had a baby with their son and now she's a lesbian and now you're a lesbian of course like for my dad he's never been in my life so okay. he called up my mom like you she's gay because of you i'm like dude, I was just about you've to ask never her, did he been? blame her yeah he blamed her Dang. but it's you know how that goes like in the spanish like being puerto rican and stuff like on that side of the family they're not going for that they don't mm -hmm. understand right. it they don't like it whatever but i just had well i remember waking up one day it was a song i listened to like so, I ain't even gonna tell you. Don't send this. God send me an <laughs> angel. angel no, I, been over. I literally can't even. I, I can't even like sing some of the lyrics for y'all. What it's, is the song? Please tell us the song. 
what was it? It's this, it's this like white song, and it's like I'm gonna marry her someday or something. I just remember waking up one day, I'm listening to, I'm cleaning my room, I'm like, I'm gonna marry a woman, y'all. Like I'm really gay. Period. So I just remember getting on Facebook, I made a status. I'm like, y'all. <laughs> This is it. <laughs> Not that's how she out. Hey, that's how the new generation gets out it. Oh, I made a post gay, on Facebook. Y'all. I'm a lesbian. Oh well. It when I say my family, like it went crazy on Facebook too. I was like, of okay, course, because Facebook is where all the family is at. So they yeah. probably like, oh hell yeah. nah, y'all seeing nah, her post. See, my mom's side of the family, a lot of people is gay, so they be like hypocritical. It's like uncles be like gay. Don't be want to say it. You for think real. it's in the blood? Mm. Come on, mom. Cause I ain't gonna lie, my little sister gay. Know. Like, what's going on? Are y'all the only two gay studs, boys? Or <laughs> Wait, your little sister, so is she a stud or is she a fan? Yeah, she a stud. stud. She is. Oh, yeah, yeah that's she crazy. Is. Two dykes. Yeah. All right. <laughs> two dykes, one fam. <laughs> her mom got two boys. It's crazy. Yeah, my mom was gay, too. I think Talking about her. I just a little freaky, though. Oh, so I don't your think mom she is was... gay? Nah, she told me she used to fuck around with girls, and I do remember her actually having some stud friends. And then when I look back at it, I was, like, really mad because, like, I was, like, 15. Bitch, you know. those is not her friends. That was no, I thought it. they was her friend. And she told me, like, nah, I used to mess around. I'm like, that's crazy because you used to have some studs around me. Now I feel it's kind of way because them studs want shit. Your mom did send me heart eyes one time. Get out of <laughs> here, bro. <laughs> I'm over here. Like, like, nah, I love your mama. I love your mama. All right, it so at any point, were you ever in denial? Yes. Okay, y'all. So. I had this friend that kind of came out before me. So she came out. She told everybody, like, this football game. I went to Finneytown. She told everybody <laughs> this football Finneytown. game. I'm like, Ugh, so I got naked in front of you so many times? Whatever. <laughs> so, like, we end up going to, like, yeah, I was one of those. So we end up going to the mall. And, like, her sister was so fine. Like, yeah. this is my first time ever looking at a girl like that. I'm looking at her boobs. I'm looking at her ass. Who is I'm this? At everything. This girl named Raven. Y'all, I'm sorry. I'm name dropping. But <laughs> Who's the stud so I can try to put it together who is Raven? Because I know a Raven ball trying to Y'all ain't that far. Oh, okay. Cincinnati. You're not about to get me in trouble. We're not going that far. All right. She's, she's lucky. She's she lucky. gonna be like, oh, you talking too much. Nah. But <laughs> <laughs> it was this stud I liked, and I we just was at the mall. I think we was crazy. What mall? I think we was at like Tri County, Tri -County or like yeah. Cincinnati Mills, some crazy shit. No, Mills. And like I, you know, she walking in front of me. I'm looking at her booty. I'm looking at everything. <laughs> so that's what made me come home to my mom. I'm like, so it's this girl. I'm confused. Like I'm looking at her, but you know how you every girl look at like another girl and be like, oh, she's pretty. Mm -hmm. Now I was looking at her like I'm trying to see what's up, but okay. I was confused. So by the time we get home, she hit up. She hit up my friend. She hit up my friend or whatever, and she's like, I want to talk to your friend. Like she was cute. She come up to me. I'm like, what am I supposed to talk to a girl about? Like what do you even, you know? Yeah. Like what do you even? I'm thinking it's different than talking to a man. You know what I mean? Right. Like how do I get to know a girl? How do I be interested in a girl? Or whatever. So I was in denial big time. And it yeah. was a fam. No, no, no. She was a stud. Oh, okay. Well, yeah. I would say kind of like STEM, because back then... So you was I mean, looking at her ass and stud, titties? She got the Excel long STEM hair. type. Yeah, long hair, light skin. <laughs> you want to say, yeah! Cut, cut the cameras, cut the cameras. I you know, mean. long hair, light skin, whatever. So, I don't know. She was kind of like a STEM back then. You know, back then, people was wearing like the little belts with all them little like things the on them. The studded belts, the rock star. <laughs> yeah, kind of like... That was like, me. Yeah, I had the she rainbow was, she was one. like that. I that had was all my, of them. I had, I had, all, my I had my the lip black pierce. and white one. I had the black one. Yes, come on, rock star. So, yeah, and then after that, I ended up losing my virginity when I was 18. And then mm -hmm. I was like, yeah, I'm gay. To a guy? A girl. Okay, have you ever been with a guy? So you lost your virginity to a girl with the strap? Yeah. No, no, no. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, mom. So hold it's on. crazy because I didn't used to like the strap at first until I met the girl after her. Okay, so hold on. How did that work? How? Hold on. What do you consider losing your virginity to a female? When that cherry get popped. Oh, wait. To a female? <laughs> I mean, but your cherry can get popped by getting fingered. Or you could. Can it? Or you could bleed by getting fingered. I don't know. I won't say that because I used tampons and stuff before and I never like had that experience. And then when I finally had a, you know, had sex with a strap, my cherry had popped or whatever. I didn't experience that with nothing else until the strap. Okay. How, how do you know lie? for the virgins out there? How do you know when the cherry is popped? Like you bleed, like you bleed a lot. Okay. See, yeah. this I'm is sorry, y'all. That's a lot, but no. no, I really don't know what it means yeah, to pop like a cherry. Bleed, I really don't know. You do bleed and but stuff like that, like exactly what you think it is. Yeah, that's how it is. Literally, and it hurts. The whole experience was horrible. I don't know. I With the like strap, the reds came outside. So, so, so if you get fingered and you. See, this is the thing, though. It That's can't OD. just be with a... Sh you can't just be like, you lost your virginity when you're using a strap. Because if you don't want a strap, you're still a lesbian. 
Yeah, no, I'm not a big fan. Like, if 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 I date a girl and the stud, she, you know, she have a moment where she like, okay, I'm gonna strap you. That's cool. But I like real lesbian sex. Yeah. So y- y'all think like? <laughs> Sorry, mom. So like, <laughs> she knows. She's my best friend. She knows. Okay, cool. She was telling you how to do it. <laughs> okay. Like, listen. Shut up, bitch. It took me 35 <laughs> years to learn this, baby. You gonna learn this at 18? <laughs> No, I think it is a stigma, though, because that's a good point. Like, losing your virginity to most people is probably like when you have sex for the first time with a man. That's losing your virginity. But really, it could be just in general when... Hey, the first time you... You you know how many guys tell me that? Like, oh, you still a virgin? Because you, like, nah, I'm definitely not a virgin. Like, That's a good one. So to y'all out there watching... I feel like just because it's a woman, like, I lost my virginity to a woman. I'm going to always say that. That's what it is. I don't care what nobody else says. Girl, me too. That's a good one. So yeah, let us know what y'all y'all feel like losing your virginity means. Like, is it does it have to be man related? Is it when your cherries pop? Is it once you have penetration? What do y'all feel like is losing your virginity? Okay. Prior to you realizing and putting two and two together, like, okay, my mom is a lesbian. Mm-hmm. Were you having feelings for women, same sex, or was it once you saw your mama, you know, into women and realizing like, oh, she's lesbian? Did that expand you to be like curious as to what it would be like to be with a woman? Okay, so I'm. I hate when people like their stipulation is like, okay, your mom is gay, so that make you gay. Right. Like I actually had multiple boyfriends. Like I've dated men, I've talked to women, stuff like that. So it don't really have anything to do with that. I know like my mom had told me like, you know, when I was younger, now that I look back on stuff, like my third grade teacher, I used to think she I used to be obsessed with her. So now I'm looking, I'm like, damn, Miss Lewis. Great, I'm girl. like, Miss Lewis was fine as Yes, Miss Lewis. Like, <laughs> Miss Lewis was fine. Then my mom LGBTQ. used to tell me, I used to say I used to say little stuff when I was younger, and she used to be like, her her, you know, girlfriend at the time, she used to be like, I think that Chris gonna be gay, but they ain't really like think too much about it. And then- <laughs> What she used to say? <laughs> Can I have extra credit? Girl, you got A pluses. No, I was obsessed with her. I used to always come home like, mama, Miss Lewis is just so pretty, but she used to come to scare with the little-, the little Yes! Lewis! She was fine. I don't even really like white girls, y'all, but she was fine. Oh, like, we. She was fine. So I don't know, it never had nothing to do with that. I just kind of, from me seeing that first girl, that was the first girl I ever, because even friends and stuff, I never really looked at them like that. But her, I was like, yeah, I'm looking at everything. I'm checking everything out. Then my first time kissing a girl, I'm like, okay, I'm bisexual. I just, I know for sure. Right. Then losing my virginity, I was like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm but, hey, but nah, so me? that's that's really important because even with adoption, all that, everybody thinks if you have gay parents, it's going to influence the kid. No, because see my sisters, I have like two other sisters. All my sisters mess with women, but I'm the only one that's gay. Mm-hmm. Like they're, they're pretty much like, you know, I like fuck a girl or whatever. Little freaky dicky look. Yeah, <laughs> like all of yeah. us, all of us fuck girls. I'm just the only person that like actually like marry a woman. They're, yeah. yeah they know. Yeah, and it don't make no sense because all of us gay people obviously had a mom and a dad. Right. Right, and all and my that sisters, we all be lesbians be if that's what it is. It's just stupid. Yeah, because like, how do y'all feel about with uh, TV shows? Like, all right, they made... I think this is dumb. They made Velma fucking a lesbian, right? Velma from Scooby Doo. They made no, her like they a lesbian. It. You know what I'm saying? But she been like a lesbian though. She been <laughs> she, she lucky a white for real. And then they wanted Raven uh, from That's a Raven to be gay because she's gay in real life or whatever. So when people speak on that, they say like, well, they gonna see it on TV. It's gonna influence them to be gay. Like, how do y'all feel about how do you feel about Ooh, that? I don't know. I'm not gonna lie. I don't really like the taking the cartoons, like taking the childhood out, out of that, even though this is reality, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. it is a lot of gay people now, like they do need to know about that, but I feel like a child, like I shouldn't be watching a a childhood show and the girl is kissing a girl. I just feel like that's too much. But you wrong me though. I don't know, I don't. <laughs> you wrong. Don't <laughs> that's the point for me. I don't, <laughs> you wrong. Let me that's tell you wrong. why you wrong. <laughs> but then hold on, because, because like, if I was to marry a woman and I have, you know, want a child with my woman, that's what she gonna see, you know what but I mean? Listen, yeah. But listen, I don't know. First of all, all right, cartoons shouldn't have no intimate scenes. All right, at all. All right, let's leave that. But if if this is a married Fred Flintstone and his wife, yeah. like, all right, they it just made it normalized, right? right. So we can't say, oh, a, a three year old shouldn't see this because then we're making it feel like this ain't normal or this ain't right. Right. You know okay. what I'm saying? So it's like, yeah, now. If y'all just came out from behind a car and was like <laughs> wiping your mouth, that's fucking weird. Like Spider Man, what shit. are you doing? Yeah, they made Spider Man yeah. bisexual. I'm like, who's thinking about being bisexual? I don't know. Bisexual? I just think they're overdoing. Like, yeah, they're, they're kind of like it forcing for sure. it. This is real. I have nieces and nephews. I agree. Everything with that. that they've ever met since they've been young has been women from me. Like, yeah. you know, right. just anybody I'm dating, they come around my family, whatever. So it's like, okay, around my around my nephew, he already knows I like women, but I'm not gonna 
rub my girl's ass or like kiss my girl out inappropriate in front of my nephew. That's right. just the most. Yeah. He don't need all that. Right. But he knows like what I got going on. He understands it, whatever. It's not too much. Right. I feel like they're forcing it. Like yes. yeah, you're yeah. turning forced. it's forced. Oh, characters that was here for thirty years gay. Like just make a new Nobody character. Nobody even like, at this cares point, the if Spider Man <laughs> is bisexual. Who Long cares? as he saved Mary no, Jane or Mary Jo, whoever it is, honestly, don't really care. I think it's really like the like world. I don't care who he you has what sex I'm saying? with. So, I don't care. But then like I think where it's like two different things because like I don't believe that them seeing that is going to influence them to be no. gay. No, because if that was I the case, I would be straight that. as fuck. It's yeah. nothing but straight shit. And that my... ain't... <laughs> I'm a, you going to like what you like. I don't feel like... like People think that sexuality is influenced or is watched. It's learned. Right, right. I don't, I don't believe that. As, I don't believe that And either. outside of that, right, there's some people that have identity issues, right, or, or just like you don't nobody in your family is gay right mm -hmm. and then you just feel like inside like what is wrong with me right because you mm -hmm. don't see it nowhere so if you seen it on tv you would just be like i identify with that right there's That's the really and there's people it, yeah. that we interviewed that felt like that are like non-binary or gender fluid that at one time was like, yo, I don't feel like a girl, but I don't feel like a man or right. something. So that's just another way to help that one, two kids feel accepted. You know yeah. what I'm saying? That's fact. But that's there fact. are levels to a fucking cartoon for yeah. kids. It, nah, is. it really it is. Cause what are Her they? having a girlfriend, okay. But like the girlfriend, we ain't got to show the kissing. We don't right. got to show. It, that's too much. It ain't got to be that deep. But I do think deep. it is important to at least show kids like, all right, this is quote unquote normal. She has a girlfriend. Because we didn't have that. Exactly. We didn't have that. Like back in our times, like being gay, everybody used to be like, oh my God, like stay away from me. I've experienced it. <laughs> so I know. No, know. for real. It's they like. Have it, they, it's a lot easier <laughs> now to me. <laughs> and it be I like, yo, when your, friend, when your friend find <laughs> out you gay, like, bitch, I ain't like you. You ugly. Bro, don't get me started on I mean, that. When everybody be like, bro, you know how many friends I got that they mom has asked me if we fucked? And I'm like, are You're you You're not serious? my type in the daylight night. I don't drunk, like every sober. girl. I do not like it. When no, I say I have real. a specific type, I yeah. have an exact type on what I like. What's, What's your exact, exact type? type? Damn, that is, it's the exact for me. I have an exact Bitch. specific, very not thin my type. line. <laughs> Gotta be five, five, and no, two thirds. I didn't really notice this until my family was like, "Okay, Chris, like you got a type." And when I really started looking back at like my the girls, like yeah. lining them up, I was like, "Damn, damn, I do got a type." Yeah, I do. What's your type? type? I don't know. I like I like beautiful. I like really beautiful women. Like it doesn't matter if you're a stud, anything. Like I like beautiful women. Like mm. her. I like beautiful women. I don't know for some reason. I don't. Everybody say I only like light skinned girls. I don't like or foreign girls and stuff like that. I don't. That's just what I always attract. That doesn't mean that that's what I like. Mm -hmm. I don't care if you dark skin, brown skin, whatever. I just like beautiful women. I like a girl that dress good, ambitious, got a good head on her shoulders. Like I don't know. I just got to type. Is it any she, race or something in particular? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, like no, only not you shaking. Your only head have off. Puerto Rican and black, you know. No, and, uh, like I've dated girls that have been black, but I'm not gonna lie. It's a few of them that's been like Portuguese, Hawaiian, okay, like, Puerto Rican. Oh, you culture, oh, huh? Culture. Fuck, you got a Portuguese you girl regular. That? You real I'm regular. I'm basic as shit. I ain't never. I've dated Portuguese. a girl that was Mauritian and Jamaican. Mauritian, <laughs> Mauritian. <laughs> where they come from? I don't even know where that's at. She a mermaid. <laughs> <laughs> Basically, it's Mauritian like is African, so it's African Jamaican. Oh. But she from she from oh. London, so she was really like, you know, <laughs> we are so disrespectful. No, <laughs> no, I love Africa. First of all, all right, now I love Africa. All right. No, but I think it's a difference between like having a type and just having standards. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's that's what wrong to me. I feel standards. like I have standards. Yeah, I, I'm not one of those people. I'm not gonna lie. Like, I've tried to date like the uglier side, but I just <laughs> <Girl>. really why? <laughs> I just like what I like. Like, but why? You know, I don't ever try to date somebody ugly so you don't get cheated on and you still get cheated on by the ugly no, person. No, you cheat on me, it's oh. just bye. Like it's all oh. <laughs> That's not <laughs> Hey! Ain't no hey. worse than getting cheated on by an ugly motherfucker. Like, bro, I tried to go below just so I wouldn't get cheated. And you did me the worst. She cheated on you? Yes! She did me ugly. Your ugly ass did me ugly. She did me ugly. <laughs> Bro, you I really I'm playing and save. I'm like, yeah, my chick not even that bad. Like, yo, I know for a fact she's gonna be, you know. Cause I, mean, I know what faithful, I know what I'm you know bringing. What I'm you know what I'm saying? I know what I'm bringing. No, that's the yeah, worst. Nah, I, I wish need, I would. I need to be a because I am a very faithful person, but I need to be attracted to you. It's a must to stay faithful. It's a must for me. Like I can't. There can't be, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. All everybody better than you. 
and you could just cook at home. <laughs> Bitch, I can order out from Longhorn every other day. I don't no, know. No, somebody I mean, really tried to hang that over my head like, but who gonna cook for you? Bitch, I don't know, but I'm gonna eat. Fuck. Chipotle, <laughs> bitch. Come on now. I'm gonna figure it out. Hope I, I don't got know. Like, for me, I'm not no... <laughs> yeah, I ain't no cheater, but like... You gotta. That don't sound convincing. I'm not. No, no, no. I've wow. cheated. I know. Listen to this, Let's though, y'all. It's really. Am I not pitiful? My. <laughs> it's getting. Look, look, my say, like, I'm out of this me, one. For me to be like how pretty as I am, it's really crazy. Okay, I, period. I, period, bitch. <laughs> no, it's really like, I don't know. People really be playing in my face. Like, they really yeah. do. And I, I tried to cheat when I was younger, so I had a boy. <laughs> Let me tell y'all my cheat story. No, listen, though. This is how bad I am at it. You feel yeah. me? So, all right. I had a boyfriend. I had two boyfriends, right? I'm in eighth grade. Who give a fuck? You know, right. we young as hell. So, right. like, I go skating. My boyfriend was out of town. So, Fun he used Factory, to work... go skates. Fun Factory, to be Hello? exact. Yes. Okay. So, I went to Fun Factory. My boyfriend was out of town. He worked at the First Fun Factory. First of all, Factory, grow right? up, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> like, grow the fuck up. Who your boyfriend, though? We might have the same nigga. <laughs> Honestly, I don't even remember. <laughs> Wow. I did as though I was so I mean like, I was name John? Fuck. I was like 11, 12. What was his name John? I remember John. That was my boyfriend from Fun Factory. That's the Stop same nigga that Fun Factory. You know what's funny about that? Wait, was he, that was, wait, yeah, bro, was, was he was he light skin? Hey, hey, let me tell you, hey, let me tell you a story. From Amberley Village. Let me tell you a story. Oh, real quick. Was ice we had the same nigga. I'm about to beat her ass. Bro, wait, did him and his cousin, did him and his cousin. Brick wants to please him. Let's just say that. We have a boy. Brick can't please him. Okay, let yeah. me tell you the story. Right, bro, no, bro, no, we already said his name. Cause I already said his name. Yeah, we Keep name going. drop it. It's, on, going. it's on episode it 27. It's getting real messy at this point. But no, nah, so long story short, my dumb ass, he out of town. I forgot his cousin worked at the Fun Factory, so I pull up with my, with my other nigga, you know, being young or whatever. The cousin come up to Who's us while we putting our skates on. He like, who the fuck is this nigga? Like, I'm over here like, what? My, my other nigga was crazy, too. He's some little hood nigga from wherever. I don't even remember. I swear to God, you I don't, don't even remember. remember these niggas. Like, she like, yo, I just embraced that whole she was, straight phase in my life. Because, I mean, shit, up. whatever. They meant nothing. I was young. I wouldn't Period. I wouldn't have a sex with none of these people. They was boyfriends. That's it. Yeah. So, like, you know, he he come up to us. My nigga looking at me like, he ain't saying nothing. He looking at me. He, I know he crazy. So, I'm over here like, <laughs> I'm over here like this. He like, bro, my cousin out of town. Are you here with this other nigga? Who this nigga? He was like, I'm his, I'm her nigga. What you talking about? He was like, nah. <laughs> he was like, he was like, nah, bro. I'm about to call my cousin right now. Like, that's my cousin, bitch, that you sitting with right now. I was like, bruh, this is messy. Yo, and you I'm not are a, low. I'm not a good liar. I'm not a good liar or nothing. So my cheating it's stage cool. ended. It, it came and ended very quick because I'm a horrible liar. Well, you like, was in eighth grade, right? Yeah, I was in eighth grade. I was like 12. You so, better than me. So you ain't. I just stopped cheating like five years ago. Yeah, so Let you ain't cheat. Sure you ain't never cheat on a girl. I even in the talking stage when I'm like talking to somebody, I get really. If I really fuck with you, I don't know. I'm a Gemini too, so I ain't. I don't want nobody June to take or, this. Uh, like, May. June. I don't want nobody to take uh, this like I'm just shit. like. <laughs> uh, Y'all some haters. Why everybody be hating? No, What's honestly, I'm, I love Gemini's. I'm an Aquarius. So, I'm a like, Cancer. Aquarius and Gemini's are like this. Yeah, yeah. When's your birthday? June, June 11th. June 11th. My best friend's birthday June 4th. And she crazy too. Yeah. She crazy too. Okay. Look, his wife crazy. She from New York too. On top of that, I don't like. She the mad York crazy. People. She mad crazy. They weird. Nah, I yeah, love her. Weird, I love so. her. I ain't gonna lie. Um. So all right. So have you ever been cheated on? Yeah. And can you tell your worst cheating story, like that you caught somebody cheating? Damn, she got a lot. Look. No, I mean, she I never really, I never really called her. anybody. <laughs> She's like, yeah, I don't give a fuck about that. Once you gone, you gone. I don't give a fuck about you, Delete. <laughs> no, really. Like, once you gone, you gone. But I, I've known, I've only had one situation where I feel like she cheated. To this day, she's still lying and saying she didn't. But my ex-girlfriend, it was she like. She's Gemini. She crazy. Look. <laughs> you, you ain't even catch her? No, let me tell you. So, like, okay. We was dating. I ended up moving from, like, Cincinnati to Kent or whatever for her. So like, you know, everything going good. I'm not gonna lie, that was definitely a soulmate. You know how everybody like meet their soulmate at least one time in their life. Like, that was one of the best relationships I ever had, I ain't gonna lie. And we was like best friends, never argue, live with each other, everything. But it kind of got to a point where I was in Ken, I wasn't happy. You know how you you move a city girl to like the farm type of environment? I <laughs> yeah, used to Kent have to, is country yeah, as fuck. Yeah, I used to have to drive like an hour yes. to go to Cleveland. Like to go to Cleveland, it was like 45 minutes to like an hour yeah. to go to the mall to see any like regular civilization. So, <laughs> <laughs> <There's> <laughs> I <ain't> people, really, <laughs> people. I didn't really like that. Like all my family was back home. I didn't really have no friends. So it was yeah. just was weird. So I started getting unhappy. Around the time, so my grandpa ended up dying. He was like the most important person in my life. So, you mm -hmm. know, he ended up dying. I stopped doing certain things 
for her. Like, you know, certain things in the house, whatever. So my sister was having a baby. I ended up going home. We was both supposed to go home with me, but she didn't. You know, she started hitting me with that weird shit. Like, I kind of want you to stay there for a second. Like, I just need some space between us. I'm like, great, because, like, I miss Cincinnati anyway. But then I'm like, it's hitting, like, two weeks, bitch. Like, I'm coming home. What you mean? I have a job. I have shit I have to get back to. Right. So come home. She we she kind of ended up sitting me down, having this conversation with me. Like, you know, I want you to move back to Cincinnati, whatever. Like, But I'm like, no, I wanted to. We've had the conversation before, but she kind of came at me crazy. Mm-hmm. I'm like, I'm not happy here. I want to go back to, like, where mm-hmm. I'm from. So she brought it up. I'm like, cool. Go home. When I say, y'all, we broke up. She ended up breaking with me like a week when I came home. After that, do you know that she take a picture with another bitch and got this bitch sleeping on my dead grandpa's pillow? Deep. All right, hold on. And swerving down, she never cheated on me. How you get that serious with a girl you're taking pictures with from a girl that you just lived with like a whole week later we broke up? She did send your ass home. That's the type of shit where I'd be like, mama, that's cheating. come get me. I'm at the county office. But when I say never again, though, it's a learning experience. I've I've talked about this on my channel. Like, it's a learning experience. You know... I would never put myself in another position, live with another girl. Like, right now, I'm grown. I got my own shit. I'm Period. in my own. I, I kind of moved into her space. Now it's like I have my own shit, so a girl can't kick me out my own shit. I you do think I mean? there is a difference when you're moving with somebody yeah. to move into a new space together. They're kind of in control. Yeah, they try to hang that shit over your head. Facts. And they got the upper hand. But in Georgia, you can't put a bitch out. Let me Ooh. say that. So if you move in with a girl in Georgia, <laughs> they gonna go down to the courthouse and you evict can't, you. Because I moved to get a girl into my apartment and I couldn't put her out. They told me I called the cops. They said y'all learning things. Yeah, yeah. They but said look, she got clothes in here. See, you can't put her out. You gotta go down to the courthouse. So I learned the hard way. You know what I'm saying? But what type of bitch is you to be in a house where you not wanted? I will sleep in my car. Oh no, no. When I say my shit was this quick. Oh, you want me to? I've been wanting to move yeah. back. What are you talking about? I'm ready to That's go. That's different, but like, think about it. All right, so no, if you bitch, move to Atlanta, I'm leaving. I'm not going to go going where, though? I'm I hustling, though. I'm never, house. when I say, but I'm never, you should never be put yourself in a position where, like, somebody puts you out and you're going to be fucked up. Like, you should be on your shit. Like, at least have enough money saved. I, I be just trying to think about anything happening. Yeah. I just moved far as hell from home. I'm, like, six and a half hours away from where I'm from. Yeah. So anything could happen. You know what I mean? Like, Bro, I, I low key put got put out too one time. And you ain't leave? No, fuck, cause that's, that's my house. Weird. How that's weird though. I'm crazy though. She's an Aquarius. Y'all crazy for real. No. All right, this was my point of view. Like, all right, you, I live here with you. Right. I'm paying right. bills like you pay bills, and I'm actually paying your whole rent at this point. So no, I'm not oh, about to get up okay. and fucking leave. Yeah. I'm paying your rent, but you owe me money. So when a motherfucker start I'm paying rent with you, yeah. Like, so what I would say is, yo, I just gave you rent at the beginning of the month. I will be out. I will be out on the thirtieth. Yeah, bye, bitch. I'm not leaving right away. No, but I'm not. I'm staying in no house where nobody. Where I'm not, it's uncomfortable. But I'm dead I'm not ass being ass no to be like, nah, you gotta go now. Like, nah, I'm not. I'm not what going now. That's doing? not realistic. You gotta they pick me up and put me out. Something. I don't know what she out. was going through. Yeah, that. she was going through your phone. Was, That's what the fuck she no, was going through. No, I wasn't through. cheating. She was going through some shit, man. That uh, bitch, man. You know what? Don't even take me there. All right. Yeah, anyway, Greg getting on her. She Aquarius. Girl, I'm above that now. Anyway, so dating a small town. All right, because we all from small town places. You know what I'm saying? We're from Cincinnati. So. How, York, how do you, York, Pennsylvania. New York, Pennsylvania. Cincinnati, Ohio. Cincinnati, Ohio. I wish Ohio. I had something to throw up, but I don't. So how is like your perspective as far as like dating a small town? Do you feel like everybody eventually starts dating the same person? Do you do long distance? How is it so, for you? Small I don't town? know. For me, being from Cincinnati, like it just wasn't a lot of options. Like a lot of girls is real ugly, and then like <laughs> bad bitches got they, babies. Bad bitches no, got and then, babies. Like, if <laughs> she don't, that's why she laughing that hard. You know. No, I definitely had to and then, like, watch a few kids. <laughs> <laughs> she know what I'm talking about. To get that about. coochie, I like yo. As soon as you go to bed, I ain't gonna hold I'm y'all, but, the see, head. but see the difference for get me. That, <laughs> go to bed, get that head, then <laughs> leave. leave. Peace out, out. hey. <laughs> but nah, see, for me, I don't like kids. So, like, right. you, you want the, knows. I don't like the little crumb snatchers and the yeah. little, like, I'm not really trying to be nobody's stepmama. So, for me, I don't like kids and girls with babies. That's Damn. just me personally. So, That's anybody see this, you interested, you got a baby, don't even try to talk to me. But right. other standards. than that, like, Cincinnati, it just was a lot of ugly. And then if you did mess with a girl, like, they be undercover, like, fucking niggas or whatever. Oh, they, Lord. All, every film is a lesbian. Like, and I'm a film saying this, and I'm being honest. Like, every film is a lesbian. None of them be gay for real. So. How can like, you tell? Like that a girl is gay? Really gay. A femme. I don't know. See, my gaydar is strong. I mean, not gay, not gay. A girl like follow me on Instagram and like, 
I kind of see like, oh shit, I'm interested. You feel me? Then I got my stages. Y'all gotta follow. Y'all gotta watch some of my YouTube videos. Like I got my stages. You feel me? And you know I inbox you. We start hearting stuff. You start hearting stuff. So at this point, we gotta hit the inbox. You know I start. I start hearting stuff on the story. You gotta got, start there. I got a question. This is the Real fucking quick. process. I don't want to be jumping, but we kind of had this debate. If you put heart eyes under somebody's picture, it kind of give them the direction to like hit you up. Nah. Thank, no? you. thank you, thank you, thank you, thank <laughs> you. Nah, I don't like everything I'm putting hard eyes on. Like, I, it could be something. I could, I could just like your fit. Thank you. And I hard eyes. Because they I'm set me it. up one time like that. This girl sent me hard eyes. I slid her DMs. She left me on red. No, first of all, if you like they fit, put fucking fire. <laughs> all right, bitch. Not nah, you. Not it you. Might, not <laughs> you. <laughs> it might be a few hard eyes. Put fire. I lie, but I'm a Gemini, though. Like, I, a little flirt. That don't mean I want exactly. you, though. Exactly. That don't mean I want you, though. But they not wrong. It could be that day. Maybe the wig was, like, slayed that day or, like, the lashes was right. good. You feel me on the story and I slide up on it. That don't hard mean I eyes want don't you. mean DMs is open. Okay. It, it doesn't. Don't. Okay, it don't. all right. Don't put no heart eyes under. Yeah, under. yeah, yeah. All right. So your process. So yeah. you liking the story? You sending the? Heart oh yeah, liking eyes. the story. So from there, it's kind of like okay, we start inboxing. She like, oh, I, that's when I hit you with like, oh, you are so pretty. Oh lord. You gotta pay attention to that. You know what I mean? So yeah. then she like, oh, you pretty too. So like, have you ever dated a girl? I, I'm straight for it. If I want something, I'm going to get it. So Period. like, Let's have you ever dated a girl before? Oh, I really like girls, but you know, I kind of got a man at this point. Like, I'm blocking you. Like, there's nothing. Damn, else whole block. <laughs> yeah, cause bitch, we ain't got Bro, time. Imagine like it's damn, I thought. Talk about this it's you're block. pretty, you're pretty too, bro. <laughs> the block is crazy though. Like damn, all I said was I got a man. <laughs> like block. you, like yeah, block that you shit. Gotta go. Listen. So this is your process with finding films, cause like I, don't know. I always like, I'm think it's like kind of hard to find. I mean, not not me, but like. Film on film is like, how do you even know if a film is into girls? Like, is it like a? I don't know. This is like well. My film that I was with, this is like the first like actual relationship relationship. But like mm. I've done long distance. I'm not gonna lie. Like if I tell you about some of my long distance, y'all gonna be like, we I'm not. Know. I'm we not putting all that out distance. there on this show. I'm not doing all that. Well, we wanna know, girl. We oh, get all in. Yeah, Everybody. because that's what I was trying to ask you too. As far as like dating a small town, do you also do long distance? I do. I do, y'all. Like I got some girls. You find them off of dating websites? No, it kind of be like Instagram. Like girls okay. really like. I don't know. Like, I've been posting on, like, a few little gay Instagram pages, follow some girls. I've talked to, like, two girls in London. One of them, we lived together. Girl, before. that's not long distance. That's not LMA. LMA. That's she was dating LMA out this motherfucker. <laughs> that's she was booed up out this motherfucker. <laughs> that's beyond long we no, 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 no. It's up. not though because it's like Hell no. from where I'm from. I don't know. Like I said, I'm picky. And then like one of me and one of the girls. Game. I'm not gonna say who it is because I feel like y'all would know. I'm not gonna say who it is, but like, like we this. live together and everything. Yeah, so tell her who is. <laughs> she said <laughs> they she messy. Said. They messy. I ain't gonna do that. We just but, wanna know. We just wanna know. Um, I mean, we used to live together and stuff like that, so it's not impossible to yeah. like meet people and stuff. But me being grown now, I wouldn't do that. I was like young, talking Long to people. Distance. You know, shit ain't really all that serious. You yeah. just trying to get to know people. Whatever, I don't know. Long distance. Have you ever done long distance? Yeah, well, all right. Let's yeah. go back to my boarding school. <laughs> all right. The, the summers, the ones the summers, that I learned about y'all the, the summers, the summers was long. In, co <laughs> in college, college, I had another love in college. We was going our separate ways during the summer break. You in love, you know, lesbian love. I can't go two weeks without this. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Two days. So, I you know, summer break, like three months. So, in, in boarding school, we both dumb as fuck <laughs> took an internship to work on a fucking farm bro just to be by each other this bitch yeah, was, was milking cows it was ridiculous you no 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 cow titties no you dead ass milking cows no. you was dead ass like pulling them yo hoes, and like. they was shit shit was splashed up on us because you like got step below to milk them it was terrible that's was love dedicated. that's lesbian All right, love. Joe was she was dedicated that was Joe exotic. <laughs> but um i don't think i think and you can tell me what you think Long distance is cool to build, but there has to be an end goal. Like, yeah, we're not facts. doing this forever. That's facts. No, for real. It can't be for... That's why now that I'm older, it's like... I'm just too old to really like be that far. I need to like physically be around you. I'm yeah. like... You know, girls can be clingy. I'm not going to say... I don't... Yeah. I'm clingy to an extent. I kind of still need you to like back off a right. little bit, but I don't know. Like I need to see you more. I need to spend more time. And if we, like you said, an end goal, okay, we long distance now, but like when we start seeing each other, where is this going? Like, or do you plan on coming here? Do you, you know? And that's that, a good point. And you got to kind of like, once y'all really committed to each other, not saying like you want to jump into it the first date, but like you got to be like, 
would you be if you don't want to move would you be willing to move out here because if not y'all could went two years and be like yo i'm not moving out there i'm not moving out there <laughs> but like, see we're getting we're getting weird with long distance it's like okay i know you are london the phone. you moving to london girl that's no overseas. no no. but i've had it i mean she know we would live together for real i'm only not name dropping because i know for a fact y'all know who the person all is you can so. tell us later. I'm trying to think yeah, of all the after. gay people i know in london i'm gonna tell y'all after y'all know for a fact y'all know who this person is but okay. it's like I don't know. I just, you know somebody. Oh, I know who it is. You do? Yeah. Yeah. I ain't gonna say it. I'll show you. I'll show you. <laughs> we gonna, yeah, we gonna they talk about it. They tell nobody by name anyway. If I, if you said her name, she would be like, she don't know. But she don't she know. Uh, you know. I yeah. know that you know. So, like, I don't know. I feel like you know somebody enough, like, over the phone. But, like, meeting somebody in person is a whole different something else. Uh, no, you gotta think stank, we're damn near. We're stank, damn so no. <laughs> <laughs> I'm be the little things sometimes that be deal breakers. Like, yo. I. You don't wash your you we don't wash talk your about sheets. that later. It could be, so be it could be the cutest motherfucker that they do something that just turn you. Bro, but you know, you know, I people swear. be they show you what you want to see on Instagram. That's so like true. when you do start meeting people like you said, people be a little different, style be a little breath different, stink. breath, pits. <laughs> they be a little they don't different. Take a shower like every hygiene day. for me is like important. Hygiene like women is... are weird. It's, it's it's I don't know. Long distance is weird. So getting older now, I don't do that anymore. Cause me and somebody, it's like I have to re get to know you now. It's like right. we really never knew each other in person. That's a different. good one. Yeah. I'll be watching 90 Day Fiance, and that's one of the things they always have an issue with. Is once they get in person, it hit a little different. I'm like they that do. too. Though. I'm like I'm like out of sight, out of mind though. Like cause mm. girl, if and I be outside, so it's like yeah, <laughs> it's too much. I try all this is one time. I was going good. I was going good. Bruh. It was only Cincinnati, then though. I got like, since now you have no choice. <laughs> she. Wait, you was going good into what? She got a DM. I was going good until I got a DM. I got the a right DM. right DM. I got a DM. So, wait, what the DM say, Brent? Who was the DM from? The DM. Since we name dropped it. I don't know what it said. It was my ex fiance. I already talked about the story on here, but I actually ended up getting engaged to her. But the girl, she DM me while I was outside seeing in Dallas, seeing my out of town girl. And when I came back to Atlanta, I met her that day. The next day, she was my girlfriend. The very Wait, next day. Wait, after meeting her? Yes. Lesbian shit moves so, so quick. quick. Bro, it's the scary. next day. Yeah. Yeah. Like three months, we was um living together. I had her tatted. We was engaged, no now ring. Brick. We was engaged, brick. no ring. The it, tat, the tat. It, the engagement, no ring. The tat. It no, was serious. No, she told me. I I don't do long. I could never no. do long distance. Especially, Wait, how was the engagement with the no ring though? Can you explain that to me? It was toxic. It was like after sex, I looked over and said, "You want to get married?" She said, "Yes." We was engaged. So okay. And don't then she was trying yes to get crazy. And then she was trying to get eloped because like nah, at that time crazy. they had just legalized marriage, same sex marriage. It was only like fifty dollars to go down there and get married. She was all all marriage the time like, "Let's just go do it today, babe." Like imagine if I would have went down there and did no. that shit, y'all. Yo. I would have been going through a divorce at like 26. That's bad. And That's I'm not going to lie. It's like, the crowd for me like, damn. Right, the crowd in the background. Yeah. Oh, I'm, shit. I'm, 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 I'm not going to lie. Like, one divorce is okay, right? But let's yeah. say like, you know, lesbians, we fall in love and shit. If you had two divorces under your wing, you is dead. Like, as you, a lesbian? Yeah. Like, yeah, because that's nah, different that's time frame. I'm judging you. I'm judging you, bitch. Two <laughs> I'm judging. What the fuck? Oh, okay. crap. But I do have a question, right? Mm -hmm. Because somebody wanted to know. Ooh. Oh, somebody, somebody wants to know. Yeah. Can a fan propose to a stud or you just want to keep that strictly up to the stud? I feel like that a fem can. We, My whole thing is that makes me so mad in this community. It's like, I'm a stud. I'm a fem. I'm a stem. I'm a butch. Gender I'm a roles. Like, it's a woman. Like, right. we're both women. If I want you and that's how I'm feeling at the time, I'm coming in with the ring. Like, I don't Period. care. Would you feel some type of way if a fem... Or if your girlfriend proposed to you, would you feel like, damn, I feel like a little bitch right now? No. I no. would really appreciate that. Yeah. Because, like, that just means all that other shit is out the window, and this is really how you feel about me. Like, yeah. you really love me that much that you would really go out of the norm to propose to me. But my girl already told me. Norm. My girl, I, no, my girl already told me flat out, bitch, I am not proposing to you. So, yeah, yeah, that's, that's that on that. <laughs> so can I ask you, like, is both of y'all, like, women, are they, like, fully gay? Are they lesbians? No, my girlfriend's bisexual. Bisexual? Uh, my wife can't look no other way but my way because we're <laughs> married. Obviously, but like no, before, no, so she, wife she, was bisexual. A, she was a lesbian. Okay, okay. <laughs> yeah, you said... <laughs> hey, nah, you know? we had that conversation. We actually had to learn because a lot of people got on our ass about that because we was like, all right, how you with a woman and say you want to be with a woman forever but you say you're bisexual? They got on our ass about that basically because your sexual orientation does not define where you're currently at in your life. So you can definitely be 
um, with a woman, married, but you can still be bisexual. I ain't gonna lie, I'm, I'm a huge judge. I judge. I've tried bisexual women, so I have the right. I don't mess with them. Like, I don't care where you at in your life right now. That's a you question. You bisexual, I have you just not, you're not <laughs> gay to me. Like, I'm sorry. And so what? you prefer not to date. And we don't, no. and then every time we say something about and bisexual women, And I don't, women, promise y'all, I don't judge. Like, y'all know, I made. We are! It's like, no, <laughs> stop. Like, if y'all ever go to my YouTube, I literally have a video on bisexual and straight women. Like, yeah. I don't disrespect y'all. I still feel like they are part of the gay community, you know what I mean? They Just are, they part of the I've tried it more than once, and my experiences have been horrible. Like, yeah. like horrible to what extent? I'm like, okay, I talked to a girl the whole time. She was, like, messing with my ex-best friend's brother's best friend. So is she just a fucking cheater? Like, just a bad person? Because but more than that, I messed with another one. She had a kid. This is my first kid experience. She had a kid. She was messing with me the whole time, was, like, still fucking her baby daddy, got pregnant, got hella kids by him at this point. Like Y'all, I don't give a fuck what nobody else say. There is a real attachment baby dads have to moms. They cannot be a, they can be a shitty ass baby dad, but there's still an attachment. Please yeah. just insert like the, ah, into this video. Cause that's really yeah. how it is. I think certain girls um, just ruin it. You know, just like certain studs, people say studs are trash because they had a certain experience with studs. It's the same thing with bisexual women. If you had a really bad experience, now you like, I ain't doing the bisexual thing because yeah. I'm about, but it's like, it is, you know, it's tough on them. But so like, has a film, ever cheated on you besides I haven't really I'm not gonna lie a lot of my experience have been with studs I know okay. what I like but like I don't know when it comes to stems I'm just real weird because I'm like I, are you really gay or are you not it's kind of hard to really like y'all said to tell whether a femme really just mess with women or if you just mess with men now the, the film that I was dating and kind of my own little situation with she's fully gay okay word so um you did say because for y'all that don't know, she actually is a YouTuber and interviewed us, right? So on yeah. your on your show, you did say you had a horrible one night stand <laughs> experience. Do you mind telling they that? Messy. And oh, then messy. look, what do you define they as a one night stand? They trying to get all the tea from what me. Do, we need it because everybody got different definitions right. of one night stand. Is a one night stand so a person you? that you're just meeting or is it somebody that you just had sex with for one night? Okay, is so that, when I explain my one night stand, people say that it's not. So I just call it a one night stand because I don't have sex with anybody unless I really like fuck with you like that. So, you know, just broke up from my other situation, whatever, like, you know, something old. And I'm the meanest <laughs> stud. She was. Old bitch. <laughs> new bitch. Hello. <laughs> so, like, I'm the meanest stud. I'm like, damn, I ain't never really right. feel like that. I'm like, bro, I really wanna fuck her. So, like, we was just talking for like two weeks. And then I just kinda. You know, we ended up getting drunk this one time, go to a little, you know, a little bar, came back to my friend house, whatever, at the time. And we just kind of like had sex. It was really horrible, though. All right. That was your first date together. No, so no, that's no. What so we kind of like I said, it was like a week that I kind of just talked to her, okay. but it wasn't nothing. I knew that all I wanted to do was fuck her, though. That's OK. All it was so me. what made it horrible? She said, no. Really OK, so horrible. it was really bad. Like, no, Ooh, I have a whole YouTube what video on it. sex really bad? I, it just was like, OK, we was drunk. Like, I had gave her a head. I feel like if I do my job, like, you got to do your job. Like, she goes to give me head. It's to the point where I'm like, I looked down. I was like, what are you doing? She was like, I'm giving you head. I was like, come back. I was like, come here. Come here. Like, come back up. I was like, you got to go. So hold on. Hold on. But what was she doing wrong? I don't shoot. She find that clip. She didn't know what she was doing yeah. at all. You got a little, you got to the point that she knew it was so bad that she was like, come on, like, you know, just let me redeem, redeem myself. I'm like, nah, but you, you got to think that's all I wanted, though. So but was, how was the heads that bad? Like, I need to understand. <laughs> she want details. They messy. No, I'm just saying, like, I feel like there's, like, bomb-ass head. And, 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 and I feel like there's bomb-ass head and decent No, head, it was like, really bad. Like, I never talked to her it? Since. Yeah. I never talked to her Did she use her since. Her teeth? It Don't wasn't biting. It just was like, when I have to look at you and I'm like, what are you doing? Like, like you're not even on the I clip. should know what you're doing. Like, if you're going down there to get me, I should know. For the part for me to tell you, like, come on, like, come back up. Yeah, like, I just. had one horrible head experience. The girl, and she was so beautiful, and she was using her teeth. It made her so do. ugly. My clip was swollen for, like, two days, bitch. She said that she was so beautiful, shit. but the head made her ugly. That shit hurt so bad. I went home and told my oh, mom that, that shit. Wait, so, there, so, okay, so you didn't tell her to stop. So say, if no, y'all getting bad head, y'all not going to tell a girl to stop? No. I'm going to tell you to stop. No, I'm so nice. What, I'm so nice. I made, I'm not nice I made it feel like I can't. All right. I was like, all right, I'm good. I'm do it, good. do it, do I'm it, do good. it. How you do it? I was like, 
I'm good. I'm good. Yeah. <laughs> nah, she's up. So I can't tell <laughs> from there. Like, no more. Nah, 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 this game. Nah, right. Come on up here. Yeah, like it, I wasn't like theatrical with it. Like my legs wasn't shaking. Oh, girl, I go I'm, all out. Let a bitch know I fake that come. <laughs> How you doing? Wait, I was gonna like, say shit. show us there. <laughs> Yo, the head was so bad. She, she told me I was like, fuck, right, that's right, why I'll be like, that's why I'll be like, yo, don't let that pretty shit fool you. Don't no, cause sometimes they don't have oh, shit. Crying. They head no, that be the trash. simulation. People be trying to say, I this was on one of my videos too. People really be trying to say that films don't give good head. Y'all don't. I'm gonna put this in, I'm gonna put this out there. Films gonna, head, nah. It's disrespectful. Don't do that. And I heard studs got I've better never, pussy than films, so. Uh, uh. No, okay, so I'm gonna speak on both of those. Up, stop, 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 Hold up, I know y'all are watching the episode right now. Hey, look, we got some treats for y'all, okay? If you into all kind of neaky, freaky stuff, and you kinky. need a kinky, neaky, freaky stuff, freaky, Leather. neaky, neaky stuff, and look, even if you got a partner, even if you don't, shop with Starship, okay? Y'all, so I'm looking at this kit right now. It's the Inferno Bondage Kit. Oh, um, it's some blindfold, it's some cuffs, it's some stuff for the ankles to lock in. But this is just an example of what Shop Starship has. Um, like she said, if you yeah. with somebody, if you talking to somebody, or if you're by yourself, you can get pleased either way. Uh, <laughs> period. Use our code No Homo Show for fifteen percent off. Go run it up. Shopstarship.com right now. now. Back to the episode. But it's also at the same time, I feel like that films, I do agree that studs is like got the better than films because films be, they be fucking on Too niggas. cute with it. I don't know. Like you gotta, you gotta <laughs> drink your water. Don't you gotta be drink your that water. Fucking, you gotta oh. drink your water. You gotta mind your business. Less seafood. You know what I mean? You gotta know, you gotta know what's going on. Like, you know, some films, it's like you can't come to my house and like just be so quick to like open up your legs and know, like you know what's going on. And you like, know you come smell on like now. JJ's fish and chicken. At least a gallon, like two gallons of water Captain before D's. you come see me. Like, at least two. You smell like a two-piece. At least Captain two. Captain D style. But studs, they just, you know, they don't really get touched. They just be so, like... Fresh. Fresh. I had the best. Bums. Studs definitely got the best piece, for sure. All right, guidance from the gay gods. We need your advice, because people hit us up and um, ask us some questions, all right? Um, what is a sure way to figure out if a girl is flirting with you? Oh, I just made a video on this. Y'all check me out. She said, I need but help. <laughs> I feel like to know that a girl is flirting with me, you know, like, especially if you're dealing with like a girly girl, you know, girls give you different signs. You got to pay attention to the signs. Like, you know, say, say I tell you that you're pretty, you know, a straight girl. I feel like a girl, you, there's a difference from being nice. And there's a difference from being gay. Like it's a girl that be like, Oh, you're so pretty too. Oh, thank you. Then it's a girl that'd be like, <laughs> 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 like thank you you feel me like you are too from there that's when you kind of need to take it further you know what i mean that's a little sign girls get to playing with their hair they right, do but the, what they do like the through the dm or something i mean i don't that's kind of hard i mean but i feel like somebody hit my dm like you already know what's up i'm a lesbian everybody know that so if you a okay. girl you hit my dm like you already know what's about to happen from there all right but in person if they feel like they flattered by it <laughs> so okay so speaking from studs that's just kind of obvious like you know if a stud kind of give you that energy back but a film you gotta pay attention like girls play with their hair they do certain things it's the voice change like they give you that little baby voice like <laughs> like thank you so much like okay you know you gotta pay attention to the look the voice the hair movements like the way they are with you i don't know like the eye contact like that's how i always know a girl's gay and it's never led me the wrong direction no nah. um, no, nah, where about, <laughs> I, I really always be attention. saying like, and maybe I was always just like too respectful. Like I like to see femmes in a gay environment, so I know you're gay. The girl's slow. <laughs> no, no, because like Not I know. No, no, I know. I'm good. I'm good now. Period. But I'm just saying like me like for a femme, it's so easy. Oh, that's a stud. You know, if you right. were attracted to stud, you could point them out at a gas station. Right now, <laughs> as a as a stud. <laughs> Remember when I got my car stolen and you was with me at that damn gas station? <laughs> oh, you were This there? is a friend. You yes. watched it? You I just remembered no, that. No, I didn't watch it. I was with, remember my friend was in the car. Me, you, and Ashley, we was in the gas station. We came out. Okay, my friend, bro, my friend station. is such a blonde. We come out. She's like, 
Her car was totally. That's what I was, I was with. Like, so I just Jaylee, realized you I was watch with you. Bro. Yeah, you was first of all, bitch. She was with what? me. What? <laughs> this is the dumbest shit I ever heard. I don't know where you from. Cincinnati. Well, I do know where you from. This is <laughs> she dumb. Said Cincinnati. The bitch was in the hood and went into the gas station. Yeah, we was in the hood. Running. I never car running know with her the keys. Was watching my car with the though. keys. My blonde ass friend. I you left know her. She was a blonde. Bro, when I come out, she's like, <laughs> "No, if you would have seen her, she was like." Oh my gosh, like I thought you knew oh them. Oh my god, bro, we was No, out. I don't know them. <laughs> That's dumb as fuck. That's dumb as no. fuck. No. Did they circle around and come back with the car? No, I don't know them. But bro, no, she I don't was, I don't I even she was like, that. just, That's she hilarious. was like, they stole their car. Like it happened so quick, Chris. Like, I, I don't even That's hilarious. First of all, I just I'll be wondering that. how motherfuckers be so on go, <laughs> just ready to steal a car at any given moment. Yeah, no, Atlanta, Atlanta, Atlanta different, different, bro. Atlanta different. like a Grand Theft Auto game. I had a Dodge Challenger, and when I first got that car, they was like yo this is a high risk car for it's that. hot it's yeah hot. they was like be careful i'm like that's that ain't gonna do me and then like a few months later oh by the way i know this is totally off subject <laughs> yeah. but since we're talking about cars there was a huge hail storm <laughs> i'm talking about hail like this big in atlanta two days ago yeah and my I car has over a hundred dents in it my i don't want to stunt but i got a fucking jag and I got two broke, uh, cracked spots in my windshield and like over a hundred dents in my wind. That's uh, some day after car. tomorrow shit. I need to get right with God. I know what you're talking about. That was like, that, that was, was like scary. Sunday, right? That people were saying it was hell. Yes. It was raining. Hell the size hell. of baseball. Yes. I was on my way to work. It's like all the that. end yes. of the world. It, <laughs> no, like, I'm in sorry Atlanta, to say, y'all, that's not, that's and, not normal. And I have a fucking garage. But no, I that's never thought about normal. parking in my garage because like if I was up north, yeah, it, like because it's freezing, I just want my car. You know what I'm saying? No, a hailstorm, bitch. Anyway, you got money. No, I don't. That's why I'm stressed. All right. Hopefully my insurance covered. But like over a hundred, probably it could it could be five hundred dents. Who fucking knows? I gotta look I gotta at this shit. You. When nah, I come that's outside. crazy. I'm happy. Like I was on my way to work on Sunday, you happy? Sunday night. No, I'm saying I'm happy that I didn't have to drive in the midst of the hell. The rain was crazy, but the hell wasn't coming down no. at that time. I heard that it was already hellin', but I was getting ready for and, work. So and I, I just thank God, like, people was really driving on the road and shit. And, like, for it, it cracked me and my wife's windshield. So, like, if you were driving on the road, you probably was scared as fuck. So, I, I just... It was scary. That I rain was crazy. The funny thing crazy. is, I went to Kroger the next day. Bro, every part, car I passed had, like, a hundred dents in it. It wow. was crazy. But it was just, like, on my side of town. I would have been pissed. That's like, scary. Atlanta, somebody got to pay for that. Okay. Like, and so God got to pay for that. Yeah, somebody got to Like they told you, I would have put a water hose in my car, bitch. I would have been in a new car today. I would have had that motherfucker totaled out and been a motherfucking Lamborghini right now. I just Root. can't finesse. I can't, I can't That's finesse. God looking out for you. No. But that's an act of God, man. That was Sometimes hell in the water. Sometimes we can't question what God it. coming, what God want. Uh, Hello? <laughs> it ain't my fault. I would have rolled that one down like, look. <laughs> <laughs> Nah, but look. We got to do a part two, though, because yeah. we love having films up here because it be two different perspectives and even what we go through as far as like dating and all that kind yeah. of stuff. So yeah. this was real dope. Yeah. And talk about your YouTube real quick. One more time. Let them know about the YouTube. All right, y'all. So my YouTube channel is at Iman Chris. They're going to put it below or wherever they're going to put it. But I got you. My YouTube channel is a lot of stuff on there. If you want to know how to give a girl head, you want to know about like foursomes, threes, whatever, like. Four. She ain't say three, bitch. She went to the max. <laughs> but no, my it's channel, nasty. I talk about everything, like all of my lesbian experiences and stuff, so check me out. Definitely. That's what's up. Y'all already know it's the No Homo Like, show. subscribe, and comment. Let's go. Whole lot of gay shit. Whole lot of gay, 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 gay. gay. I like, I like. Boss Brits. We certified. And DJ uh. XL.